I'm still not exactly, you know, too hyped for Xbox Series X. Um, just only partially because, like, I got a gaming PC that can pretty much do the same, if not better, in terms of, like, what the Xbox Series X seems like it's going to do. Uh, at least overall, for the most part. And I can, you know, even run... Currently, I can run games at, like, 120 or 144... Sorry, not, not 144, 140 FPS on my PC, but... What is interesting that is getting me is like, okay, how fast the loading time is going to be on these, you know, new games. Well, not compared to maybe PC uh, games, stuff like that, you know, and how are they going to run, stuff like that. So, supposed to be some gameplay. So, hopefully, this is fluid, nice, solid gameplay. Um, we'll have to wait and see how this goes, and let's just check it out right now. I did hear this is the, like, startup uh, image for the system. Plays and presents. Hmm. The heck? Is this some type of Titanfall sequel or Titanfall inspired game? Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. I've seen this on PC. I've seen gameplay of this on PC. This is, uh, I think, Bright Memory Infinite or something like that. I actually thought about getting this myself because it's, like, relatively cheap on PC. It's, like, still in early access. Uh, I think it's, like, under 10 bucks on PC. Whoa. That man just got chopped in half. Goodness. Seems like a fun, you know, action shooter. Wait, what? Who are the DeLorean? <laughs> We're going back to the future now on this shit? <laughs> what the heck? Yep, bright memory infinite. And because we read the interwebs, everything you see here will highlight the in-game experience with actual gameplay captured in engine to give you the best sense of what to expect when Xbox Series X launches later this year. All so, right. so sit back, relax, and enjoy the following. So it sounds good. I mean, I just hope to actually, uh, you know, we actually get gameplay for everything today. Actual gameplay. Code bastards. So another racing game of sorts. I mean, it looks really good, um, but nothing like we haven't really seen before in terms of current gen. So it's not like it doesn't look drastically better in terms of the next gen, next gen game. I'm just like, uh, Codemasters, what have they made before? Are they the ones that done the dirt games? I'm trying to think, is this like another dirt game though? Because this has code are code masters known for dirt games or what or something else? Dirt freaking five, yep, okay, I had a feeling. Okay. The hell. What grotesque thing is this? Um why does this remind me of like the alien movies? Like a new alien game or something? The hell? If even if it's not an alien game, it looks like it took inspiration from aliens. Oh God. What the, what the hell is that supposed to be? I'm, I'm afraid to even guess what the hell that's supposed to be. Hmm. This looks like more of like a a trailer, like in the terms like it doesn't really well, I guess there's a little bit of gameplay there. But it doesn't look like actual gameplay. Yeah, yeah, I agree. The hell is ugh, what the fuck? Oh god! It's called Scorn. 
Very aliens like though. Righteousness. It is in her honor that we strive for chorus. Some type of like spaceship shooter game. Corvus? Corvus? 2021? Uh, looks alright. Oh, I guess this was a starving. Never mind. My bad. The hell? Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's got to be that game. The gameplay actually looks like it's improved though since the last time I've seen gameplay of this. Since the last time I've seen gameplay of this was like months ago and oh god was it looking rough. Yeah, Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodlines 2 or some shit, yeah. I do like Vampire games, but there are not many good ones. And I don't, I don't know about this one. I never played the first one. I don't know how I feel about that. But I don't know what the hell this is. On this extraordinary aisle. I dare say I've found my strength again. I'm scared of what it means. I feel the call of something deep within. Whispers of things long forgotten. Will we be forgotten too? What did you find here, Harry? Call the sea. Not interested. Well, this isn't cyberpunk. What the hell is this? Said group Arcology on Valus has shut down. If the latter is true, corporate grab teams will already be moving in. This is a crisis supernova. The Ascent group has collapsed. We have a shot at true independence. I won't let it go to waste. I mean, characters look all right. We wish to test your abilities by giving Animation and some mag some max looks pretty good. Uh gameplay wise, this is like something I hate to say it, but it's almost like in terms of gameplay, it looks like something like almost dead nation like or maybe well maybe not dead nation, but uh Diablo maybe a little bit like. Well maybe, maybe not even Diablo. Hmm. Let's get it done. Yeah, that's a good point too. XCOM like a little bit. Um, we're checking out a pregnant lady. Why? What is this? Whoa! Wait, what the hell? We're we're shooting dinosaurs in this game. Probably your squad. Um, is this an evolve slash left for dead type mix of a game or something like it kind of it kind of feels left for dead ish and evolve ish a little bit because evolve had those like weird monsters and whatnot in there that were kind of somewhere like dinosaur like a second extinction okay yakuza okay hold on i take that back I take that back. This is this is uh, my number one favorite and best looking game. I take that back. Bright Infinite or whatever. Bright Memory Infinite. You're like second now. This is number one. So I'm a, I'm a big Japanese like culture and I'm a big Yakuza fan. It's like that. I love all these games. You know, I still got to beat them all. Although I'm very shocked that they're bringing this to Xbox because as far as uh, the pr previous Yakuza games have always been PS4 exclusive and only a few of you trickled onto the PC. Like I think you can get Yakuza 0, Kwame 1 and 2 on PC right now. But I'm very surprised and shocked of bringing this to Xbox. Looks good though. Yeah, 
Yeah, sadly that uh, sadly evolved shut down the servers and did not do as good as it should have. I remember this is uh this Yakuza game. So I guess it's not in the main line. It's a spinoff. Yep, Yakuza like a dragon. And it's supposed to be like turn-based combat, kind of like a uh, base like RPG. Maybe I could tear up the streets in oh, Dirt Five. Or, God. Well, here's a no. quick view of Phil Spencer's home no. office. Oh, this, wait a second. This is bad. We've got this inside look at the next Assassin's Creed game. Okay. So yeah, there with yeah, that, some I'm gonna leave you with the show gameplay off. debut of the highly anticipated Assassin's Creed Valhalla for Xbox Series X. Okay. Wait. This, this, this isn't gameplay. It's not exactly. The hell? Is that showing off the siege? That's like, that looks like in engine. What the hell, Ubisoft? It's like it's kind of gameplay and it's not at the same time because these was like these look like cutscenes mostly and cinematic scenes not true actual gameplay and like I, I guess a tiny bit of the siege stuff they were talking about including in this game or raids or whatever the hell are you are, wow are you serious what the fuck what? What the fuck? <laughs> it's just showing us this. What the fuck, man? Oh, uh, let me catch up with chat here. Hold on. God, sorry. I'm trying to collect my thoughts here real quick. Um. <sighs> All right. Perfect. Not you argue that that was actual AC of a hollow gameplay. I I differ slightly. That was not much of really any gameplay. That was. That was disappointing as shit. Um, <laughs> this was a disappointing ass inside Xbox or Xbox Series X, Xbox display of games, in my opinion. Like, in my, you know, the best looking game to me was the Yakuza Like a Dragon. Behind that, Bright Memory Infinite. And behind that, the uh, anime game uh, Scarlet Nexus. But most of the other games are like, okay, all right, or just eh. And it didn't really look all that impressive. Like all this shit looks like it just runs, it just, it looks like current gen graphics and visuals for the most part. And I get that we're probably not gonna have, we're not gonna get like a huge jump in terms of visuals and whatnot, you know, with the next gen, kind of unlike, PS3 to PS4 or Xbox 360 to Xbox One or whatever, but god damn, man. Like, they didn't even really show anything, like, outside of the smart delivery that they kept em em uh, emphasizing about. Where if you buy on an Xbox One now, you basically don't have to buy it again. You can play it on your Series X, and whatnot. Outside of that, they didn't really, like, showcase anything like that. Like, I'm thinking, okay, we're going to get gameplay, but it's like. Is there anything maybe in with the system that we can do that's different on, you know, PS5 with this gameplay? It's like that. And it's, uh, it's like, oh my God. Like, another thing too is, uh, chat, like I said before, I've got a gaming PC that can run these games either at equal or better quality. And, I'm not really all that excited for Xbox Series X personally, be partially because of that. And and that's not to disrespect, you know, the Xbox fans out there because you're you're welcome to like whatever you want. You know, I am a more of a PlayStation person more and a PC gamer now in a sense because I most of my friends are on PS4 and I'm building up my friends more on PC as well too, mostly. So it's like, I don't really mess with my Xbox too much outside of exclusives or besides exclusives. Uh, that I already have on a system basically, which aren't all entirely exclusive because you can play them on PC too, but that's besides the point. It's just, I don't know. I, I was never super into Xbox 
growing up and everything like that it's not a bad system by any means and i don't say this to make it sound like it's a bad system no xbox systems are good you know and this this but the series x is supposed to be more powerful than the ps5 <laughs> it doesn't look it doesn't look that much stronger oh my god like they at least could have showed us you know the uh faster load times or something like that you know with these games at least maybe i don't know i i at least want to see that you know and they keep bragging about these fucking 12 teraflops and all this other specs and shit like that and like man i see i'm not worried about halo though i'm not worried about halo i'm not worried about first party games i'm i want to see yeah it's cool that they want to show off these third party games gameplay but i want to see how you know these games are going to work differently a little bit on xbox series x compared to pc or compared to ps5 like that's kind of what i was wanting <laughs> I did I, me personally I just don't see a reason to purchase an Xbox Series X. I I, I initially I wanted to get it along with a PS5 just so I can kind of compare the two hands on and whatnot, but it feels like Xbox Series X is and the PS5 for that matter too, or they're trying to get closer to being PC like without fully going PC. And they're not and outside of like faster in-game load times and maybe some subtle touches to like lighting and environments and visuals stuff like that um and maybe certain other features and functionality i don't know i'm just not all that impressed personally i'm just not <laughs> um i'm hoping i think ps sony's supposed to do theirs like early next month they're supposed to showcase some ps5 games and some more ps5 news and whatnot uh the rumor is at least early june possibly june 4th i don't know for sure it's a rumor right now so take it with a grain of salt so i'm hoping because this was disappointing as shit um <laughs> and i feel like sony doesn't have to do much to <laughs> surpass xbox at this point in what they showcase as long as it's not disappointing like this so hopefully it'll be better we'll have to wait and see though but man good god Hmm, this is not looking good.